Good morning. How are you? Fine, ma'am. What about you? Fine. So, can I have your resume, please? Yes. Your good name? Sri Vidya. Sri Vidya. So, where are you from? Nizambad. Nizambad. Okay. So I think previously we ha you have completed your uh, group discussion, yes, okay, yes, and a written test also. Yes, so you are selected for technical round, yes, okay. Uh, so in your technical skills, you have mentioned a C language. Yes, you are good in C language, yes, or uh, any other programming language? Uh, C Java. C Java, okay. Uh, so. How much rating, uh, how much rate yourself in C language out of 5? 3. 3. Okay. So I can ask you some questions in C language. Yes, okay. Uh, so what is the difference between Kellogg and Malloc? Kellogg is a uh, library allocation, CLOG is a contagious allocation. Mm -hmm. Malloc can create a single argument, uh, CLOG creates a multiple argument. Malloc is uh, faster than CLOG, uh, CLOG is slower than Malloc. ML. Okay, uh, so next, uh, what is preprocessor? What is preprocessor in your C language? Preprocessor is a program that will execute automatically before, uh, before starting the uh, program to a compiler. Uh, this uh, this preprocessor are called as a, this process is called as preprocessor. Commands used in preprocessor are called preprocessor directives and they begin with hash symbol. Hash symbol. Okay. Uh, so next, uh, what is the difference between get ch and get ch? Get ch means it takes input mm. and displays it uh, after pressing the enter key. Get ch means it takes input and displays it after uh, without pressing the enter key. Get ch gives the output with buffer. Get ch gives uh, without any buffer. Get ch won't takes input. Get ch it takes the input. Okay. So, what is dangling pointer? Uh, dangling pointer. It sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes programmer fails to initialize a pointer with a valid address. Mm -hmm. uh, then this type of initialized pointer is known as dangling pointer. Okay. Uh, can you mention file operations in C language? Yes, ma'am. Acquire, yes. Uh, close files, commit, delete files, uh, force end of data, etc. Okay. Uh, a, uh, can you mention some functions in uh, files? Do you have any idea on that? No? Okay. Uh, so, explain different storage specifiers in C language. Storage specifiers are of four types. Automatic storage, storage class, uh, static, register, external. Automatic storage class is the default storage class for all the variables which will be declared inside the function or a block. No? External storage class is a class. Uh, uh, it is a local variable of uh, uh, all the classes uh, which will be visible to uh, all the program files. Uh, static storage class is a class uh, which will instruct uh, any local variable uh, that is stored that is stored in a static memory. Uh, register storage class is a storage class. Uh, uh, which is used to define a local variable that is stored in register instead of a RAM. Okay. So, explain the hash pragma directive. Uh, this directive is a special purpose of directive. Uh, it is used to turn or off some features. Uh, these type of directives are compiler to specifier. That is, they can vary from compiler to compiler. Okay. Differentiate between macros and functions. Macros is a preprocessor, function is a compiler. Uh, function is a compiler. Uh, ma macro is a compiler, function is preprocessor. Uh, ma macro is a uh, preprocessor, function is compiler. Uh, core length increases, core length uh, remains the same. Speed of execution is faster. Com coming to function, speed of execution is slower. Uh, generally, macros are of online code. Uh, functions can be of any number of lines. Uh, compiler does not check uh, macro errors. Uh, uh, compiler does not check function errors. Okay. Uh, so, what is near and far pointers in C language? Near pointer is a pointer which is used to uh, with address of up to 16 bits. Uh, 
in a in a specification of computer memory that is 16 bit enabled uh, far pointer is a pointer which includes uh, specific segmentation of a computer memory uh, which is uh, which is uh, it's outside of the default segment okay what is the difference between static memory allocation and dynamic memory allocation when the allocation performs at the uh, when the allocation of memory performed at the compile time, then it is known as uh, static memory allocation. Uh, the memory is allocated for only variables by the compiler. When the memory of allocation performs at runtime, uh, then it is known as dynamic memory allocation. That's it. Okay. Uh, can you define what is a stack? Okay, define stack and what are the operations performed in stack? Stack is an abstract data type uh, that serves as a uh, that serves as a collection of elements with two main operations. Mm -hmm. One is push, another another one is pop. Push is used to add an element to the collection. Pop is used to delete uh, the most recently added element in, from the collection. That's it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, how are random numbers generated in C language? Uh, the, the two common methods of random numbers are generated are one is uh, pseudo random number generator, second one is true random number generator. That's pseudo random number generator are generators uh, we, uh, which will be seen in an algorithm to be random and that, uh, the, the results are predictable. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by memory leak in C language? Memory leak in C is a specific kind of resource leak that happens when a computer or a software program uh, poorly handles a memory allocation and it fails free up to the memory that is no longer required. No longer required. No longer, no longer required. required. Okay. So what is wild pointer in C language? Any uninitialized pointer is known as a wild pointer. That does not point to any. Uh, that that does not point to any of the memory location. Uh, while pointer in C is uh, not uh, C is C is declared but not initialized. Uh, then that pointer is known as point one. Okay. So uh, write on one C program. Okay. So that is for binary search. Okay now. So you need to uh, search one element. The element is present in which index position. But you need to apply a logic called binary search. Okay, write down the program. Explain the program each and every line. What you are writing. What is the meaning of that line? In the binary search, we are taking array mm. into beginner, into, into, into end value, into variable. Variable means we have to search first to one value okay. in the given array list.
first we are taking as simple as to the ammo loaders, standard input output or header file, into binary sets, array, begin index, end index, value, uh, into mid, we are taking one variable that is called mid, uh, if end, whatever we are giving the uh, values, so can we write like that? Is that operator is present greater than or equal to? You have mentioned two equal to. Hmm. Binary cells mean we have to take in ascending order like mm -hmm. sorting, sorting, ascending mm -hmm. to descending. First of all, we are searching this is begin value, end value. Okay. We have to search from this. End greater than or equals to begin. First, 0. 5 greater than or equals to 0. It is condition true. It will come to this. A of mid. Mid means no. Middle value we are taking, we are searching this one. 21. 21 double equals to uh, our get, uh, our value is values to be searched. 21. 21 equal to equal to means it will come to this result. Mid plus to, one value. Mid plus one, it will increment. Again it will come to this position. Greater than value. Result equals to binary search. Less yeah. than, uh, less than value. Less than value means it will come to this one. Uh, and next to this. So you are calling the binary search uh, method function in your main method. Oh, yes. Percentage D indicates position one. Position one. What type of data it was taking? Why we are writing percentage D? Mom. See, you are taking A of I is a integer value. Mom. Integer should be represented with percentage D format string. So that is the reason you are writing percentage D. Okay. Array we are taking. It 
ఫస్ట్ రిజల్ట్ తీసుకొచ్చిన ఫైనల్ సెన్స్ మీన్స్ ఆరే ఫస్ట్ వీఆర్ ఇండికేటింగ్ విత్ బిగినింగ్ ఎక్స్ మీన్స్ జీరో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎన్ మైనస్ వన్ వాల్యూ ద ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆరే ఆర్ ఫస్ట్ వీఆర్ ప్రింటింగ్ ద ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆరే మీన్స్ లెవెన్ సెవెంటీన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ థర్టీ ప్రింటింగ్ నెక్స్ట్ ఫర్ను ప్రింట్ ఐజ్ కోస్ జీరో ఐ లెస్ దెన్ ఐ ప్లస్ ప్లస్ ఈ ప్రజెంట్ ఐ డీ మీన్స్ ద పొజిషన్ ఈజ్ ఇండికేటింగ్ what they are printing what we are giving oh, okay the element is present in uh, which index position uh, the elements to be searched means we are 21 we are taking uh, the elements to be searched means 21 we are printing uh, the elements of the position of error else position means percent in this place in this place man this will be indicated 21 will 21 be printed 21 will be printed okay. in fourth position means third position oh. okay have your seat okay uh, so your interview is completed okay so for further details our hr will contact with you okay, okay whether you are selected or not okay, okay. Uh, do you have any questions to ask me regarding uh, your performance no okay that's fine